The name of the tallest mountain in North America has been changed with the stroke of the president's pen. The way the story goes, a prospector named the Alaskan Peak for Ohio's William McKinley after hearing that McKinley had won the 1896 GOP presidential nomination. Well, now Barack Obama has renamed it Denali to the delight of native Alaskans, that's what they've always called it, and to the disappointment of native Ohioans, including House Speaker John Boehner. The change came on the eve of Mr. Obama's visit to Alaska today, and Bill Plant is there. We're starting to see the mountaintops here. Alaska's vast, awe-inspiring natural beauty is the backdrop for President Obama's call for action on climate change. Secretary of State John Kerry set the tone today. But what we discuss here today is important not just for the Arctic. It is important for the rest of this planet. Climate change is impacting fish and wildlife in the Arctic, like these walruses who gathered on land in northwest Alaska because the ice they prefer had melted. The president will see evidence of that melting when he tours a glacier like this one called Portage. A hundred years ago, the Portage Glacier came all the way here to the end of this lake. Thirty years ago, you could still see it from here. But now, due in part to a warming earth, it's no longer visible from here. To see the Portage Glacier today, you have to take a boat ride three miles down the lake. Nick Racine, the Forest Service Ranger, has watched the glacier shrink. The portion of the glacier that's uh, facing the water on the left side is definitely pulling out faster than the side on the right. So you've actually seen this with your own eyes? Yeah, yes, you, you bet. But the president's visit comes at an awkward time. Just weeks ago, his administration issued new permits for offshore oil exploration. The president argues that as long as fossil fuel is needed, the U.S. should be as self-sufficient as possible. At a conference here in Anchorage, the president is warning the leaders of other Arctic nations about melting glaciers, rising sea levels, and diminished fish harvests. Scott, his goal is to come to agreement on ways to combat climate change before another international conference later this year. Senior White House correspondent Bill Plant in beautiful Alaska. Bill, thanks.